So since we have quite a lot of those panels to do, um, as you see, there are many, many here. Uh, so this will take quite a, quite a long time. So I split this video about creating these panels in two. Um, so you can really skip this video uh, if you watched the, the previous one, if you want, because it will basically be the same thing. I'm going to pass through all these glass panels and add panels on top of each one. Um, in this case, we have quite a lot of same panel, so I will be able to use clones quite a lot. To see that I adjusted the width and I'm now cloning them because they all have the same size. The last one, the first one I mean, uh, has a different the frames, uh, the left frame has a different thickness, but then we can fix that later on by adding a, a block or, or something. Uh, at the moment it's more interesting to keep all these panels uh, cloned, so they, they share the same base. If you modify one, you will modify all the others. And you, you can clone several objects at the same time, so it goes quite quite fast. Here probably we have also different sizes. Is the, the grid really helps? Uh, it's something I didn't use much in other BIM or CAD applications, but in FreeCAD I'm actually using the grid all the time because it's really convenient to like uh, position, for example, your dimensions at the same uh, intervals and things like that. Doing these kind of rotations are uh, very easy with, with the grid. Um, so it's really a, a feature that I use quite a lot in, in FreeCAD. So we move this into place. Normally it shouldn't have a left frame because you see it's like using the frame that's already in place, but it's it should be a bit thinner also, but in this case, we, since it's exactly the same width as the other one, I decided to just leave it like that. And let's say it would be our own interpretation of our own correction of Mintz van der Rohe's work. Uh, and um, basically, it's out of laziness. We could edit the sketch of this window to remove the left frame easily, but like we did in, in a window in one previous video. But I believe it's not worth doing this for, for this tutorial. It will take us a lot of time for a small result. So we remove our temporary dimensions, fix the height. And now we just need to clone these to the other position. I'm not sure this is exactly like that because it seems strange to me to have this aquarium. We should look at picture to make sure. Oh, you see that there is some small difference here. And indeed, it's a little bit shifted. So we could just not respect the ground plan and shift it 
a little bit so it matches perfectly the other with shift pressed yeah you see it matches perfectly the other window frame so it's a bit cleaner I'm not sure what happens between these two I think it's a chimney or something so it's probably not glass uh, I'm not sure we should look at pictures of course and make this the way it really is but for the sake of this tutorial I think it will be best here I really want to use clones because those are three big windows and it won't make any difference if there are a couple of centimeters so rather than following the, the plan I'm going to measure this and divide this value by three um, so we have exactly one third of this distance to give to our window and so we can clone it two times uh, which will be faster than drawing and also more convenient for us than drawing three independent windows so now we give the width we just calculated and put in put it into place and you see that it's a little bit different than the plan view but uh, in this case I think it's not words and you see that it matches perfectly here just a little defect we should align these three exactly with the face of the of of the wall all right and you see that here it matched perfectly so we just need to fill this hole here Thirty three centimeters. You can see how really convenient it is at some point to have the working plane fixed to some position or not like uh, when you're like working uh, freely in this 3d view it's really convenient to have the working plane fixed on the ground for example because then all your rotate rotations and movements um, can use that working plane as a base um, and in some other case it's better to keep it automatic so whenever you rotate uh, and you look uh, you use orthogonal views like front view or plan view uh, the working plane will just follow you without the need to to uh, if i remember well here it was 2200 by 90 because the total height is 300 and our window is 210 and you see that again by uh, disabling working plane snapping uh, I'm able to snap above the working plane that is at the real location and here maybe with a little bit of luck and if the modulation of this project is correctly done we should have yes exactly the same distance so we can just clone our window here in these details you see that 
Miss van der Rohe was like a genius. There is not one dimension that is out of what it should be. Like uh, it's perfectly modulated. There is not one thing out of its, like you would say, its natural place. You put these these window frame and they just match perfectly. Here we are going to do again the same thing we did with the other one, which is to match the thickness of those frames. So we are almost there. Last piece is this large one here and maybe we can use these. It looks like it's the same So I'm going to place them here, so it's easier to rotate. And move them to the right position. Oh no, they're smaller. Yeah, definitely smaller. So we can use this. So I'm just undoing, undo, and once more, yeah, until our clones are gone. Then we, have, we will have to create new ones. I'm going to measure the second one because the first one might be a bit different. You see that it has... Um, a frame on its own on the left side that it doesn't share with another so it's safer if I want to like just duplicate probably the second one will have the right size or let's say I have more chance to get the right side from the second one but we'll see quickly if my theory is correct well, let's say it's okay. Maybe, oops, maybe in to make it perfect, I should the first element should be a bit different. But in this case, since we're lazy, we're going to just clone these and use one one type for all of them. It's interesting to think that if BIM had been available at uh, Miss van der Rohe's time, maybe a couple of small details in his architecture would be different. Okay, that's it. All our glass work is now there. So it's done now and it's time for another video. Don't forget to save.